Kolar 650 automatic cold saw chamfering machine from Bucinaro. Designed to chamfer automatically in all three types of high speed steel cold saw blades, A, B, and C tooth form. Serves as a great complement to a CNC machine because it's very fast and efficient for just chamfer grinding of teeth. For demonstration purposes here, we're going to remove the cover so that you get a good idea of how the machine operates. This is only for demonstration purposes. What we're going to do here is dress the wheel. You want to make sure that this wheel is consistently dressed so that you're getting a consistently flat chamfer. It's very important. That's why the machine comes with an integral dressing system. It's a very simple system, but it works very effectively to flatten out the wheels. The wheels can be dressed pretty much every time you grind. It's a very easy process. The machine is controlled by an industrial PLC and a stepper motor drives the bevel action. An air system drives the indexing feed. Here we'll go through the control panel that's controlled by the PLC. The top left button here will bevel the head to the right during setup and it will micro infeed once the machine is in auto operation. The next button over will bevel the head to the left during setup and micro outfeed during auto operation. Obviously the blue key it will memorize a position. The green button will turn the machine into auto cycle. The red button will stop from auto cycle. The next button down will be the setup mode. The next one over is a unique feature of this machine where the wheel can bevel quickly and then when it gets close to the tooth it will go into the L setting and it will approach the tooth slowly so that it gets a nice grind. This is the zero button where it will return the head to zero. The next button will tell you if you want to bevel every tooth like in a triple chip or if you want to go every other tooth uh, like in a B form. The yellow button here will index a tooth. Down here on the left we have the uh, motor on, the wheel motor on, the wheel motor off. The machine does have an optional coolant system which would be here. It has variable speed will be controlled during operation and the green and red button here are when we initially turn the machine on it will help the machine reference to all its positions. The emergency stop button and a tooth counter so that the machine will automatically shut off when it's completed its grind cycle. On this side of the machine we set up the index finger. These controls here will control the index stroke forward and the index stroke backwards allowing us to index multiple teeth in the case of say a triple chip or one tooth in the case of say a B form. The engineers have also placed a button here that will help index making setup of the index finger much easier and convenient for the operator. Now we're ready to do some grinding. We're going to turn the motor on. Here we'll set how far the wheel will go in fast mode. Basically how far away from the tooth we want the wheel to start slowing down before it goes into its slow mode to do its grinding. Here he's setting the slow mode stroke and then he'll confirm those positions and the machine will do the same on both sides. Set the number of teeth and put it in auto cycle. Now we'll continue to infeed until the wheel touches the tooth. Just above the arm here we can see the blade centering device which if we're slightly off center we can dial that blade left or right and get a nice even grind stroke, a nice even chamfer on both sides.
We have variable speed on that bevel action, so we can speed it up, make it go faster. We can slow it down, make it go a little bit slower. We also have variable speed on our index assembly forward and backwards through the pneumatics where Ronnie's pointing there.